What's going on, Fly Family? So today we come with bad news. So after three years of fighting the pandemic, I have finally come down with the coronavirus or this Rona as people will call it. Um, right now my symptoms aren't that bad. Um, I was vaccinated fully and then boosted but it's been over a year since my booster dose, so my immunity was a little weak. And we just came back from traveling through South Carolina and we ended up having a little bit of spreadage of COVID out there, but we're holding on strong and I've only had a fever which subsided and just a little bit of cough, but I'm isolating and cleaning the room. Um, disinfecting everything, trying to keep Genebug as safe as possible. So we'll keep you updated on what we do. Throughout my infection, we kept a morning routine of getting out and getting fresh air and trying to sweat out as much of the virus as we could and staying socially distant from our other peers while we're out at the parks or in the neighborhood. Another tip I would give is to allow food to be your medicine and eat nutrient-rich foods. So this is our plant-based chili and with um, whole foods. What I'm doing here is, is um, whipping up some walnuts to act as the meat. They're going to go in that hot pan. And walnuts have a natural oil that's released when you heat them up. Then I add these spices just like regular chili spices. Cumin chili powder, all of the things. And we like spicy foods, so we add quite a bit of that. And then I mix in some onions and sweat them out. Here you see me pouring in tomato sauce, one big can, and one can of tomato paste. You know that's highly concentrated. We love that flavor, so we have to add a little bit of water in there to sort of smooth it out. You can see those walnuts look like meat. And I'm telling you, I'm addicted to the taste of them. It's a little tough because I didn't soak them, but, I, but because I pulsed them really fine, they came out great. Here I'm adding beans. Now, those of you who know, know that traditional chili doesn't use beans, but because we're getting our protein from plants, it helps that we put in all of the different variety of beans that we can. Decided to make a salad with romaine, spinach, banana peppers, onions, carrots, tomatoes, jalapeno crumble, and cucumbers. So I absolutely love when Costco responds to the needs of people who eat a plant-based diet. I picked up this Alfredo sauce mix uh, from Costco and added to it some spinach, some uh, cremini mushrooms or baby bellas and chop those up put them in the pan and of course added some seasoning because we don't necessarily trust everything that comes out of a package even though it was whole food plant-based basically the base of it was coconut milk which is awesome so we add in the crushed red pepper because again we love the spice and then we put in some regular black pepper coarse ground into the spinach and mushroom mix. This is my favorite combination. I love the flavor of spinach and mushrooms and add it to an Alfredo chef's kiss. You'll see once we mix up this spinach and mushrooms, 
it does magical things when it's added to the Alfredo sauce. So there I set it aside. I cook up some the noodles that came in the kit, which is awesome. I didn't have to measure out my own noodles, uh, my own fettuccine. So here it is. It's, um, I think it was frozen fresh. Awesome. There we go with that creamy coconut milk mix. And it does taste cheesy because they add cashew. So there was a cashew and some um, nutritional yeast. We mix that all together. And look at that. I mean, I think I may have had more than one serving of this. I'm not going to tell anybody else, but it's a secret. Okay, so this is what it looks like right after it's finished. Of course, as it cools down, it gets a little bit thicker. Beautiful salad my baby just made. Phenomenal fire coming right up. This is the food that saved us from the crud and helped revive my husband. After he caught the COVID, he was using whatever vegetables were around and pho is magnificent because it's hot, it's delicious, and you can add as many vegetables as you feel the need to. And we did that, we did just that. Third tip I would give is get as much rest as you can when you can. Um, during my infection, usually at nighttime, I would be affected the most and it would feel like it was like water on the lungs where I would keep coughing and hacking up things, but no phlegm or anything would come out. But it allowed me to stay focused and to study for my certified in public health exam in which I was able to get a passing score and become certified in public health. So the virus actually helped me a little bit. Coming off of quarantine and getting rid of the little people, we decided to go on our first adulting experience and go see Nope. How you gonna eat all of this? We just had some impossible nuggets and some fries. This today is junk food day. We're gonna have to work this off on Stone Mountain. Oh, we got drinks. We're doing it a big for date night. <laughs> we don't get out much. Yeah. <laughs> We love to explore new restaurants for brunch and so this one we found it had great Google reviews and it's in Kirkwood, Dulce Vegan Bakery. Just made it to Kirkwood, Georgia and it's a nice little community. Lots of gentrification occurring though. You see the dog walk and grooming area. They have a yoga spa situation going on for moms. You'll see the restaurant that we're eating at today. It's called Dulce Vegan Bakery. Happy Mango. Yogi Wellness Class. And Dulce Vegan Bakery. Say vegan bakery. Deliciousness. Cap off this departure of the weekend, we decided to try the Yaz vegan cookies. After a great food weekend, we decided to get back into the gym and get back on our regular scheduled plan of working out and being ready for our wedding. Thank you for joining us. Like, share if you care, and always stay fly.